On Tuesday, October 25th, a partial solar eclipse will be visible from parts of Europe, Western Asia and Northeast Africa. The eclipse will start at around 4 pm and end at about 6 pm. In India, the northwestern part will see the maximum eclipse. Solar eclipses occur when the moon comes between the earth and the sun casting a shadow on the planet and fully or partially blocks sunlight. The shadow of the moon has two parts, umbra and penumbra. The moon's umbra is the part of the moon's shadow where the entire sun is blocked by the moon. In space, it's a cone extending about 400,000 km behind the moon. When the small end of this cone hits the earth, the places inside that region will experience a total solar eclipse. The places outside umbra, which is the penumbra, experience a partial eclipse. The annular eclipse occurs when the sun and moon are exactly in line with the earth but the apparent size of the moon is smaller than that of the sun. Hence, the sun appears as a bright ring or annulus surrounding the dark disk of the moon. However, the umbra doesn't always hit the earth due to slight misalignment of the moon's orbit. In such cases, if only the penumbra falls on earth, only partial eclipses can be seen. In this eclipse, the umbra passes above the north pole with only the edge of the moon's shadow falling onto the earth. The animation projects the path of the moon's shadow onto a map of the world. The red contour shows the edge of the moon's shadow and encloses the places where the eclipse can be seen. Within this, yellow contours show where the various fractions of the sun's disk are covered. Observing a solar eclipse is an exciting experience. But without proper protection, looking directly into the sun will cause permanent damage to the eye. Only properly designed and certified solar filters should be used for direct viewing of the sun's disk. Especially, self-made filters should be avoided. The safest way to view the sun's disk is by indirect projection. This can be done by projecting an image of the disk onto a white piece of paper or card using a telescope or a pinhole camera. The projected image of the sun can then be safely viewed. So let's hope for a clear sky to observe the eclipse safely.